Thank you so much for your company this morning. Now get ready to be swept away in a pea green boat. Whangarei based theatre collective Company of Giants has taken Edward Lear's classic 1871 poem and transformed it into an inventive and fun performance for Auckland Live Kids. We are now joined by the Owl and the Pussycats, Matara and Lutz. Welcome guys. Welcome. Matara, now let's start because I think a lot of people remember the Owl and the Pussycat went to see in a beautiful pea green boat mm. uh, and they can't remember anything else. So what's the story actually about? They took about? some money and plenty of honey and... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I just messed it up. But anyway, um, so the story essentially, the uh, Owl and the Pussycat go in a pea green boat and then they travel across the sea and they end up to a land where the bong tree grows and they bump into a pig. They get his ring out of his nose, they use it as their wedding ring, and they get married by the turkey on the hill. Yeah. And essentially they just dance under the light of the moon, the moon at the end. And then that's kind of the whole entirety of the poem said in a little quick. Aww. It's quite Aww. short as well. But nice. It's a love yeah. story. So, lots, yeah. So, yeah, it is. It's a love story, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a romance. And I find, like, as we've been going through, lots of people use this poem at their weddings, <laughs> which has been really nice to find out. <laughs> and I believe there's a pea green boat sort of wedding organisation. There's so. probably a theme somewhere. Yeah. And they probably remember more than the first line, which is what... Yeah. Like, right. the vague bits of it, like the bond tree sounded familiar and the honey and mm. the, the, the pickle, the ring at the end of his nose, his nose, the ring at the end of his nose. But you forget the whole main story. So you play the pussycat. The pussycat, I do. <laughs> that was a dead giveaway. <laughs> oh, I just thought it was what he rocked around on a day-to-day basis. And look, so who do you play? I play the turkey on the hill. Okay. And so how do you get into character for that? Um, okay, so I have so, I have some <laughs> phenomenal tights <laughs> that I use that really help me get into character. Right. And uh, um, a bunch of washing gloves, which are my wiblet. <laughs> the turkey's wiblet underneath his chin. <laughs> so that really helps. That really helps get me in the, into character. And but what about you, Matata? What about you getting into character? Well, essentially, my outfit's a bit more skin tight and I, it's quite slinky. And I would say it's kind of like a Sandra D sort Ooh. of outfit. Mm. But it's a little bit more like founded at a thrift shop. But um, yeah, so it's kind of um, putting that on, you're kind of like, oh yeah, I feel like a cat. No, I know you haven't got it on, but can we have a little sample of the characters? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I whip it out any time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this production also has some, some like classic songs, but also some original songs in there as well, is that right? It's yeah, almost so, all original songs yeah, yeah. now, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we've had a couple of different productions of it, so this is probably its fourth iteration, and as we've gone along, we've sort of gotten better and better at sort of making music together and stuff. So now all this music is original and it's all very sweet. Yep. And we've got some pretty amazing songwriters and musicians that um, we work with, so yeah. And it must be fun. I mean, doing a children's show is demanding because it's high energy, you've got to be up all the time, like any theatre, I guess. But there's something special about doing a kid's show. Do you enjoy it, Matata? Um, it's more fun than anything. Um, most of the time I'm like a bit worried, I'm like, oh, Damn, my dad's coming. Like I'm wearing the skin tight. <laughs> I dressed up there as a pussy. But um, at the end of the day, I always end up having fun. My dad fell asleep, thank God. But um, <laughs> I just always enjoy um, the rapport. Like yeah. it, it is a bit nerve wracking at the start, mm. but it, after the, the end of the show. Because kids are just loving you and like patting you and then drawing pictures of you. Well, that's the thing too, is that kids are like, they're an unforgiving audience. Mm. If you're not performing or up to scratch, they will let you know about it, won't they? Mm. They definitely do, <laughs> don't they? Yeah. They're, quite, they're also quite easy to make them like fall in love with you though. So there's lots of bubbles and colours to sort of keep them entertained. Just yeah. in case they're, they're getting restless, off. bring out yeah. the bubbles! <laughs> <laughs> and tell us more about the, um, you know, the Whangarei group, because you guys are essentially based in Auckland, but a group of people get together in Whangarei and really make things happen for the community, don't they? So we've been working together for about 10 years now, I think. Wow. Um, yeah. So we all, we all met up in Whangarei when we started doing our first shows with Laurel and then decided that we had a good thing going there and that we could really help the community up in Whangarei. Um, and that there was a real need for performance and um, contemporary sort of theatre in Whangarei. So we decided that we could help in that way and we've sort of been going ever since. Brilliant. Um, yeah. yeah. That's fantastic. Good. So the show, what sort of age kids do you reckon? Is it just for children? Oh. Maybe like the newborn to maybe like 90? 
There you go. Yeah, yeah. A lot of it's good to have a target demo there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've worn to specific. about 80. Hey, that's great. Well, it Everyone. sounds fantastic. It's <laughs> very good. Best of luck. Yeah, sounds Looking fun. Forward Thank you very to, much. Looking to, to more from you as well. The Owl and the Pussycat starts on Thursday and it plays until Sunday at Auckland's Civic Theatre's Winter Garden, which is beautiful. Check out the Auckland Live website for ticket details. Well, there's something to do for the holidays. <laughs>